and welcome back to my tea party. So today, I actually have a tea request. First one, yay! So uh, this is from a fellow Lolita and YouTuber, uh, Lolita Plus Geek. And she requested the very popular, as I've been told, Hardy and Sons Paris Blend. And this one I got the tea satchel version, so they come in little baggies, which are so much easier. Much easier than the loose tea blend, that's for sure, when it comes to the steeping. So I do appreciate having the bags. So let's take a look at the tin. It's very gorgeous, as usual. They always do a good job on their tins. It's got this nice copper trim all around, and it's also got like a royal blue color almost. Yeah, a touch lighter than royal blue. And, uh, they wanted, the company wanted to make this tea to uh, get a little experience of the city of Paris. As it says, it's delicious blend reminiscent of the City of Lights, Perry. So let's go to the ingredients. We've got, of course, black tea, uh, natural vanilla, fruit, and citrus flavors. So it also has a touch of bergamot, which is one of my favorite ingredients. It gives it that bit of a kick for me, so I love it. Um, I also want to point out that as I was drinking black teas in the past, I noticed that um, a lot of them for full strength want five minutes of steeping time, but I find for my personal taste that three minutes um, is just enough for me because I don't like mine as strong. So I'm going to try this at three at this point for boiling water. So it's always good to experiment when it comes to your teas. Let's take another closer look at the, the sachet here. So there's not much color to it, it's just that dark uh, black tea leaves that you usually see. And already I'm getting that kick of the bergamot oil in here. Mmm, it's so nice. It's, it does have like a lot of citrus notes in it, and I don't really smell a lot of like really deep black tea. So let's give this a go. Ooh, thank you, but uh, not now. <laughs> so let's get to reviewing the tea. So let's see the color. I'm getting a pretty dark color. I'm kind of surprised, even though I did look at the tea bag and see it was a dark color. So that's fine. <laughs> I was expecting an amber cup for some reason. I don't know, but it has like a tint of red to it. Try to get a bit of aroma here. Or my favorite bergamot standing on it. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Now I'm picking up that vanilla. And I don't know what other fruits. I wish I knew what other fruits they put in it from the ingredients. I always kind of don't like the vagueness that say we just put fruit in it. So there. It's some citrus fruit. So deal with it. <laughs> How it's taste. So I'm not picking up a lot of the tannins in the black tea, which uh, is a preference. I don't like a whole lot of bitter taste, so this goes down really smooth at the three minutes. Just to know, but if uh, you lovelies want something a bit stronger, I would go for the full five minutes for sure. I definitely taste more of the vanilla and it gets picked up a bit from that lemon. Yeah, it's very refreshing too. Mmm, just that punch of citrus flavor. Yeah, definitely. It's very I love it. Usually I'm used to the full body black teas, but this one I would definitely recommend for um, a nice afternoon high or low tea and uh, maybe even a little pick-me-up after, you know, your 3 a.m. kind of bogged down at work for sure. 
because it does have a little bit of a kick, but it's not too, too bad. I definitely recommend this to all you Hardy and Sons fans out there. So, on a scale for the cookie meter, I would definitely give that a 5 out of 5 frosted cookies. This is definitely an A-plus grade right here. And so, my lovelies, till next time.